Welcome to Jusagi's V Shoujo speed paint tutorial. A lot of people are interested in more art from me, as they should be. However, a master artiste like myself cannot just constantly create. Art is not a mass production, it is a sacred act. And today I will share the sacred speed paint of the V Shoujo crew. Watch closely, don't even blink. What is the most important aspect of art? Definitely visualization. Sure, I'm using this picture of Zentreya as a reference, but in my mind's eye, my third eye, I can see all that Zentreya represents, such as being a dommy mommy, her banana suit, her big, gigantic, voluptuous personality. All of these are considered equally in my craft. One common mistake I've seen a lot of new artists make is that they rely too heavily on their eyesight. Look, a true artist never relies too much on just one tool or it becomes a crutch. For example, I drew Zentreya's face with my eyes closed. Impressive, right? You couldn't even tell the difference. Only when you rely on all your other senses will you gain the level of precision and artistry that I have. I do apologize to Zentreya personally for using her as a warm-up piece, but I think she holds out just as well compared to the other girls, as you will see shortly. Next is Silver Veil. Jusagi, I hear you screeching in the comment section. Why aren't you erasing any mistakes? Mistakes? Me? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the prestigious University of Fine Arts in Barcelona, and I've been involved in numerous artist alleys at 300 confirmed anime conventions. I am trained in the art of guerrilla painting, and I'm the top artist in the entire Canadian convention scene. I can crush your future art career with precision the likes of which have never been seen on this earth. Mark my words. Listen. I don't erase any mistakes because I haven't made any mistakes. Any time I add a pen stroke, it is a deliberate motion. It is perfection. There are no undos in real life, and there are no undos in a Jusagi drawing. Anyways, out of all the girls at V Shoujo, I've probably watched Silver Veil the least. I have nothing against her, but as an accomplished professional, I don't really have time to watch as many VTubers as I once did. I think she's lovely and I would love to meet her one day. Maybe I'll, uh, she'd like an autographed copy of this art. Next is Iron Mouse. Mousy is one girl I really hesitated before drawing because as my long-term art fans would know, Iron Mouse is one of my favorite VTubers of all time. She was one of the inspirations behind me becoming a VTuber in the first place, so I didn't want to draw her in a subpar way. I wanted to create a masterpiece worthy of Iron Mouse. The lay, uninitiated person may not understand the subtle themes and undertones I've woven into Iron Mouse's piece, such as Papa John's and Dora the Explorer and that one time she sang that Little Mermaid song. All of these concepts are a part of this beautiful drawing. By the time I finished drawing her, I had aged about a good decade and I was covered head to toe in a cold sweat. That's how razor sharp my focus and concentration was. Only a true master could reach these heights of artistry. Next is Project Melody, the girl that started it all. I'm actually a huge fan of Project Melody as well, and I do think she's the cutest of the V Shoujo girls, and as you can see in the amount of detail I've added to Melody's face and hair. Pro tip for all you newbies, instead of drawing the large 6-9 on her clothing, a neat trick is to use the text tool instead. It only takes a second, and voila, it's absolutely indistinguishable from the rest of the drawing. This can help you save some time if your penmanship isn't quite as good as mine. I've only ever watched Project Melody on Twitch, and definitely not on any other sites, but I hear she's into some adult stuff? I don't think so. I think Project Melody is as pure as snow, and she definitely didn't review hentai that one time. Oh, who could forget Nyaners? 
Nanners is a legend in the YouTube industry, and I remember watching her videos almost a decade ago when I was the young, ripe age of 45. I finally paid off my student loans, and to celebrate, I just had to watch the latest Nanners video. To see her surging to the limelight once again with V Shoujo brings my ancient, decrepit heart joy. The fact that Nanners is actually supposed to be a cat girl is something I realized literally right before drawing this. Um, I placed extra care into her cat ears, her paw prints on her leggings, and uh, I, in case you didn't notice, I took a little bit of artistic license, just a bit, to give her the, um, the uwu face, as she is a cat, and all cats are in a constant state of uwu. Fruit and Hime are both new VTubers that I was not familiar with before V Shoujo took off. Fruit is supposed to be a cute lich, and I am all about the cute lich. As she is also a fellow artist, I hope that one day she will look upon this art and recognize the work of a fellow artisan. For Fruit, I really wanted to capture the spirit of being undead, so I took my computer mouse and I buried it in my yard for a week before digging it back up to draw this portion. I, that's, I want to understand what it's like to be under the ground, but it's not enough for me to understand that. My tools must also understand the subject in order to properly capture every detail. My mouse soon died afterwards due to worms being inside, but you know, say la vie. I had to use a trackpad for the rest of the week, but I think it was worth it. Hime, as the youngsters call it, is bodacious. I, I don't know what that word means, and I'm too terrified to Google it, so I just interpreted it to mean she has very long arms. I also know she has quite considerable um, mommy milkers. Hey. All female shapes and sizes are valid at the JCC, so if Hime wants to have bazongas the size of an interstellar battleship, more power to her. Wait, are you saying that her boobas seem too low? Now listen here, I may not have ever seen a booba, but I'm pretty sure they can start anywhere in the torso area in any direction. Who am I to say otherwise? I'm not a doctor, are you a doctor? So there you have it, the finished artwork of the V Shoujo girls. I can honestly say I've never been more proud of anything I've drawn in my life. It'll be a shame that the masses won't understand the true value of this piece until long after I'm dead. But those of you who have an eye for Jusagi's drawings, I hope this gave you a little bit of enlightenment on how to improve your own art. Uh, as you know, I am a professional. I'll be opening up my commission soon, so if you want some lovely art or if you want to suggest someone you would like Jusagi to draw, please let me know in the comments. This has been the first of the Jusagi MS Paint series. I'll see you next time.